My name is Rich Joseph. I'm a medical oncologist at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. My clinical expertise is in cutaneous malignancies, including melanoma and other skin cancers. And I also treat genitourinary malignancies as well. So melanoma is uh, distinct from other skin cancers in that it is usually a proliferation of uh, pigmented cells, although not always. Uh, melanoma can also originate in different parts of the mucosal tract, including uh, the head and neck, as well as the, the GI tract, as well as on the bottoms of the palms and the soles, which usually uh, doesn't occur in other types of skin cancers. You know, melanoma is the most deadly form of skin cancer because it is the cancer that is most likely to spread to other organs. Other types of skin cancers rarely spread from outside of the surface of the skin and the ability of the melanoma to metastasize makes it the most deadly. I mean, a stage one melanoma has a cure rate of about 95%. So if you catch it early, that's great. A thicker melanoma is something that is, that is still in the skin but has not spread to the um, lymph nodes or the rest of the body, has, still has a pretty high uh, chance of cure of catching it early, somewhere in the range of uh, 70 to 80% chance of cure. A stage three melanoma is when the melanoma has escaped from the skin and gone to the lymph nodes. And we divide stage three into stage three A, B, and C, depending on how many lymph nodes are involved. And the cure rate there drops all the way down as low as 20% if many lymph nodes are involved and as high as 60-70% if only one lymph node is involved. A stage four melanoma is a melanoma that has left the lymph nodes and gone to, the, to, to distant parts of the body. And there, the survival is much less. The overall average median survival is, you know, we're talking in the order of months to maybe uh, a year or so. Uh, however, those numbers are getting better with our, our newer therapies. I see melanoma patients at usually at two phases. Uh, the first phase is if they are diagnosed and then they have a lymph node that is positive. Tr traditionally, the, the lymph node is removed by the surgeon and then they come to see me to help them prevent the melanoma from recurring in the rest of their body. And at Mayo Clinic, we have several clinical studies that are, are geared towards preventing melanoma from be spreading to the rest of the body, which we call stage four melanoma versus, rather than stage three. Melanoma does predominantly exist in an older population. However, the amount of numbers in the younger population is much higher than other types of lethal cancers. Uh, we still have a long way to go to eradicate melanoma or completely cure the majority of the patients, but before uh, the last five years we were talking about getting uh, responses and, and helping maybe five to ten percent of patients. Uh, now we're moving that bar up to uh, anywhere to twenty to fifty percent of patients of, of causing them long-term remissions, um, which is a huge step forward, but obviously leaves us with another 50% uh, to improve upon as well. So a long, long way to go, but we, we've come a long way.